Los Angeles. You might remember this video that was released by TMZ. Well, multiple people involved in the violent dog napping of Lady Gaga's French Bulldogs. You're seeing that dog napping uh, and the shooting of her dog walker have been arrested. According to the Los Angeles Police Department, the five suspects are facing attempted murder and robbery charges. I want to bring in Fox 11's Haley Winslow to break this all down. Haley, we spoke about this when it all came out, and now we are finally uh, seeing this come together and arrests finally made. Yes, hey Daytona, we just got out of court where five suspects are being charged in this case, three of them for attempted murder and two of them for accessory. Now again, and the shooter is also being charged with assault with a deadly weapon. The other person who was in the car at the time of the incident is being charged with assault without a deadly weapon. Now, this all started a couple of months ago, February 24th at about 9.40 p.m. If you remember Lady Gaga's dog walker, Ryan Fisher, was walking three beloved French Bulldogs who he's been taking care of for years. He absolutely adored Koji, Gustav and Miss Asia when all of a sudden a white Nissan pulled up out of nowhere. One guy got out and shot Ryan Fisher in the head, left him bleeding on the sidewalk, took two of the Bulldogs and Miss Asia got away. He was screaming for the dogs as he was bleeding and still trying to save their lives that you've seen the surveillance video just a moment ago. I mean, the, the, the shrieks are still so hard to hear. Now, Ryan Fisher was in critical condition. He's since out of the hospital. Um, he did uh, tell attorneys that I just talked to a minute ago that he did have a lung collapse, um, but he is recovering and expected to be okay. Lady Gaga is still in Rome uh, filming a movie, but we now know that uh, three of the suspects are being charged with attempted murder. One of them is Jennifer McBride is uh, she's being charged with accessory. Excuse me. Um, she was the one who actually turned in the dogs to the LAPD mm. saying that she happened to find them. If you remember, there was a $500,000 no questions asked reward. So Jennifer McBride goes into the police station two days after the incident happened and says, I found these dogs. Well, it turns out she is the ex-girlfriend of one of the suspects. It wasn't hard for police to put together that uh, th that she was related to these suspects. And now we know that four of them are members of an LA gang. So um, now the judge today um, set the shooters bail at $3 million, uh, two of the other ones at $1 million. Um, and Jennifer McBride is allowed to actually post bail. Um, she's on house arrest. She's got an ankle monitor with a GPS tracking device, um, but she is allowed to work because she's a diabetic. Uh, she hasn't had her insulin, so counsel argued for her to be able to go home for health reasons. Daytona. Haley, I remember when this all happened and it absolutely went viral on the internet. And then, of course, that $500,000 reward was posted uh, by Lady Gaga. It's incredible to see that this is actually happening out there. I remember um, in our first interview that we did, we talked about the fact that this is a market in Los Angeles because those French Bulldogs are so expensive. It's so sad and it's so scary for people walking their dogs around here. I did talk to the neighbors in that Hollywood neighborhood where this happened right off of Sunset Boulevard, a pretty nice neighborhood. I talked to them on the way to court today and they've been terrified for the last two months, worried that these now we know gang members were going to come back and strike again. Um, LAPD does say that they took the dogs not knowing that they were Lady Gaga's. They took them because the breeds are worth so much. And you're right, we've seen this all over California lately, that these French Bulldogs and other breeds that are worth a lot of money are getting stolen um, in very violent incidents with people getting shot and stabbed on the sidewalk. One lady um, a couple months ago in broad daylight. Hmm. And do we know the status of the dogs right now? Because I know there's so many people out there who are really worried about these dogs right now. That's the biggest priority. That is the biggest priority for a lot of people. And uh, in addition to, of course, Ryan Fisher's well-being, which he is expected to be okay. The dogs also expected to be okay. Yes. So two days after the incident happened, if you remember, uh, Jennifer McBride turned them in, saying that she found them. Uh, Miss Asia was um, literally in Ryan Fisher's arms as he was bleeding on the sidewalk. Um, he was still screaming for, for the dogs, mm. um, trying to save their lives, not even worried about his own. Um, but the dogs are doing fine. Um, 
Lady Gaga um, apparently has called the homeowner of the surveillance video that you saw a moment ago, um, and and she's talked to him, had a really nice conversation with him. Um, they're now friends with Ryan Fisher because um, hmm. he lived just down the street from where this happened, and he had been taking care of the dogs for about eight years. And I mean, he took them everywhere with them, and this was their last walk of the night before he went in bed, um, and and tucked them in as well. And um, absolutely terrifying and I'm sure even though he's gonna be okay it's, it's it's I'm sure gonna be a long road to recovery and I can't imagine the the trauma that he's gonna have to deal with after this yeah unbelievable unbelievable but good to see everything kind of coming together arrests being made Fox 11's Haley Winslow giving us the very latest thanks Haley for being with us thanks Daytona